Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me on the Nice Survival Channel. Before we get started to talk about this guy here, please like and subscribe if you're watching the video. Please give me a like. Um, this is a tactical carry bag. The name of it is, um, the brand name is M-Tech. It's basically a shoulder chest pack. And it's for EDC. It's to help carry your, your firearm. And it comes with a shoulder sling and it hangs into your front of your body. If you guys remember the uh, fanny pack, it's kind of like a modified version of that. But it hangs in your front, like chest height. And I was looking at these for a while and I, I wasn't sure if I was going to go with a solution like this. But I always had a problem in the summertime carrying. Yeah, I always wanted to switch it up or decide... A different way to carry or, or whatever. I was, always had issues in the summer. In the winter time, it's not a problem because you wear heavier clothes and, and you can conceal better. But in, the, but in the summer, I was shorts on and a t-shirt. Yeah, I carry and the small on my back, but this is a kind of a different solution. And it opens up a wider variety of carry options for you. Um, what I mean by that is, you know, you have your... You know, it's a pretty sizable pack. It's probably 8 inches high by 6 wide. I didn't want anything too large. <clears throat> and it opens up concealed carry options because, for one, it's not... You don't have it in your waistband pulling on your, your pants. And I don't carry the lightest of guns, so that can be sometimes an issue. Even though I think everything's kind of heavy in the summertime. Um, you know, it opens up here... And that's where you carry, that's where you put your firearm and it's velcro to the back here so you can you know you can uh, put it lower in the pack or higher in the pack wherever you want to put it it comes with this pull tag which is real important because when you have it zippered up you have this pull tag here right Let me get the frame better and you just rip it open so it adds speed to your drawing and it's always right there in your front so that was another thing that I uh, was attracted to me. And at the end of this, I'm going to go over a couple things. Also, you see these three components here? Gives you options to carry other equipment for your EDC. Something I don't normally carry on my everyday is a tourniquet. I throw a tourniquet in the large pouch up here. And then I have down here. I normally carry... Uh, one mag obviously in the gun and then one extra mag and with this option I now carry two mags in the front pouch and then the third one is empty I don't have anything in there I guess I could try to fill it in with something but I don't want to make this pouch too heavy because then we're like back to square one so I thought that's pretty interesting and they're not very expensive so I figured let me try it oh and I added this I got a bunch of uh, a bunch of these patches that I put on some of my kit. Um, so I wanted to try it to see how it was, and I, I gotta say, I mean, I, I thought that a lot of people would be like, I would catch a lot of eyes, and uh, the the funny thing, I didn't, I didn't really see anyone really looking at me. So I was like, all right, well that's good. I mean, you know, anytime you try something new and it's it's different, you know, you have this thing on you, and it's like, man, people are gonna be staring at me or whatever. And it, it it's nice. I mean, I actually enjoyed it. Um, it, it, it was just nice. Um, I, you have more readily, it's, the gun is more readily accessible to you. And I do like that. And, you know, if you need to take the gun off uh, or out of your, like sometimes when you get in the car, it's like, you know what, I'm going to get this out of my, small my back or Sometimes if you're, depending on where you carry, it can be a little annoying. And if you just want to take this off, I mean, you can get in the car and just have this still on you, no problem. Sometimes the seatbelt gets in a little way, but you can just, you know, unflop it over your head and just put it to the side. You know, readily available still, obviously. So I thought that was a pretty cool thing. So if you're thinking, if you're having issues with your carry, um, and, you know, I'm not going to use this all the time. Sometimes I'm still going to go. I even pocket carry sometimes. I have a smaller gun that I'll keep in my pocket sometimes, and I'll do a pocket carry situation. So, 
you know, that's always a, the tough thing with carrying your EDC and all, figuring out the best way to do things. And this is a pretty good solution. I, I'm kind of enjoying it. I've had it for about, I don't know, four, about five months now. And I like it. I do like it. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is you're carrying a pack on the front of you, you know, which, you know, you have to kind of get used to, I guess. It's probably because I'm not so real, real used to it yet, but I don't know. I, I'm i thinking about if I really should have went with the green. Maybe I should have went with like a gray pack or something and been like more of like a gray man. Maybe I should take that off, you know. I don't want to be ID'd out there. So, all right. Well, I thought that was something I think you guys would enjoy um, if you're interested in different ways to carry or something like that. It's a good option. Not very expensive. I think it was uh, like 20 some dollars or something like that. So, it's not too bad. There are more expensive options out there. I just wanted to go with something cheaper just to see how I liked it. And if I didn't like it, I would just not, you know, just go with a different way. And then it just would have been just a bag. Um, so, all right, guys, stay tuned. I got, uh, I'm done the charade stuff, done the charade series. I do have, uh, I'm going to be doing now rat series of Ontario knives. I have the three, five, seven rat series. I have the RTAC two and also maybe getting the tech one, but that's still to be known. All right, guys, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys. Let's get to the 1K mark, and we'll do that giveaway later.